Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the markets. 5 a.m. Monday, the 23rd of May. We're going to take a look at a little bit of something different today. We're going to go over a handful of what I think to be worthwhile investing books for your downtime. Real quick, though, we're going to check out a couple charts. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and consider doing so. Channel's growing nicely. Appreciate all of the subs, all of the comments. So real quick, looking at Bitcoin here, trading at 30,031. Looks like we're finding some support from back in this area here. So far, good to see. Put in a nice bottom over here so far on the 12th of May. And things are just taking their time here to get out of the hole. So that is a quick look at Bitcoin pretty far away from the 200 day. Keep that in mind as well. Over here to Casper. Casper, same as Bitcoin, although it's consolidating very, very tightly here. We will see what happens. Do we see something like this coming here or Casper in the future after a long move down, tight consolidation to a big break up? Is that the future for Casper? We will have to revisit this chart in a separate video, but not too much to discuss here. Perhaps a move like that is taking place. XLM trading at 13 cents, XRP at 42 cents. So markets were up a little bit higher um, last night and in through the middle of the night. But as of early Monday morning, fading a little bit here. Let's jump into some investing books. So we're going to go over a handful of books here. To kick this off, we're going to take a look at a book written by the Vanguard founder, Jack Bogle. This is the little book of common sense investing. This book basically goes over the workings of an index fund, some of the math, um, behind it and why for most people it is the best way to be involved in the markets would be something like an S&P 500 stock market index fund, perhaps something like VOO, which is the Vanguard S&P TF. It's a really good book. It's a short read, not very long. You could definitely knock it out in a couple hours or over the weekend and it will probably change the way you look at the markets. For most people, if you can just do one thing and buy index fund throughout your throughout your working life or um, whatever it may be, you will do very, very well down the road. Not a get rich overnight, but it really uses the power of compound interest. interest. Common sense investing by Jack Bogle. All links will be down in the video description. So that's that book. Um, probably one of the first books I read um, a handful of years ago, probably 10 years ago, maybe a little less. Um, great read. I have recommended it to a lot of people. I've given it away. It's uh, If you don't know what an index fund is, read this book and it will... Definitely fill you in with some of the math behind the compound interest over time, along with fees and all of that good stuff. So check that out if that's something you are interested in. It's also something where you could put a portion of your investment funds. So maybe you're more of an active trader, um, day trading, whatever, futures, options, crypto. You could take a portion of your um, investable assets throw it into an S&P index fund, and then do your other trading style with the other portion. So you have a little bit of uh, diversification and you're in um, a couple different ways to be in the market. So that is that by Jack C. Bogle. Let's check out a little bit of a different style book. So this is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This is a really good book. Goes over um, assets versus liabilities goes over cash flow 
goes over businesses, employees. This book is very interesting, and most people do not think in the terms that this book is written, and it's very easy to understand. It's a relatively short read. Again, you can knock it out in a couple hours, but more than likely over a weekend would do the job. It really goes over the difference and the different mindset of an employee versus a business owner. And then that uh, quickly goes into, um, if you do you look at money um, in time, in like a per hour or as something bigger in a, you know, perhaps like a business owner or like, let's say you own a rental property and you're looking at money as <clears throat> cash flow and where you don't have to exchange your time, you know, per hour for money. So you accumulate assets. Obviously, the sky's the limit. And then quickly, you are not looking at money in the way as, you know, one person times one hour times X amount per rate. Um, that's your cap. Whereas if you have, you know, five rental properties that produce X amount, um, perhaps you could still go to work, but then you have a different way of earning money. This book really is, this is a really great book. I'd recommend um, anybody interested in perhaps getting away from the per hour um, earning method and business owner, check out Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. So over here to book number three, you've probably not heard of this book. Would not be surprised if most people haven't. Um, this is a real deal stock market book. Looks like it was written back in the 70s by Richard Ney called The Stock Market Jungle. This book will shed, shed some light on the inner workings of the market, the market participants, the market insiders, the whales, the fund managers. This book is very interesting. If you have a more than above interest in the stock market and how the stock market works, check out this book. This is probably a book you will not be able to find in the library. Most people probably haven't read this book or even heard of Richard Ney. Um, this book was recommended to me along with a couple more we'll go through by some very, very seasoned, well-off, successful investors. So some of these can be a little bit confusing, but it'll definitely, um, shed some light on some very interesting topics in the ways the markets work. So this is by Richard Ney called the wall street jungle. Over here to book number four. So this is a similar book to Richard Ney. This is called The Stock Market Teacher, Technical Analysis for a Post-Crash Period. So this is written by Granville. This is also another book that, and perhaps a person you have not heard of, very interesting, goes deep, deep into the markets. A lot of these will go into different volume models and all of that. Um, Pretty much not too much to say here about this book besides if you have an above average interest in the stock market and the workings of it, here's another book that you could perhaps pick up and take the time and study. This is called The Stock Market Teacher by Joseph E. Granville. Over here to book number five. So getting back to out of the very, very deep market stuff. This is a book written by William O'Neill called How to Make Money in Stocks. Probably the first book I read about the stock market um, that was, one, easy to understand, and two, had strategies and plans that you could follow right away with very, very, very little money, um, all the way down to one share of stock using um, the can slim method, which William J. O'Neill teaches you within this book. So this is, uh, probably a couple hundred pages. I'm not really sure exactly. I think it's like 300 or so should tell you somewhere right here, 464 pages. So this is definitely 
not really your weekend book, although it's a very easy read. Um, you probably could knock it out in a weekend, but more or less, it will teach you a usable strategy basically right away with the markets. Um, um, it's almost like a 50-50, so basically 50% of the strategy is using the charts and the other half is using um, fundamental analysis. Um, going through companies, they and they the CanSlim method. Uh, CanSlim stands for um, is an acronym for different parts of the company that you would look for. Um, Ghost, I don't remember recall them at the moment. It's been years since I've used this, but I would recommend it for somebody who wants to be a little bit more um, hands on with individual stocks and wants a plan to follow, this is definitely not a bad way to make money in the markets. Now, this method will obviously do much better in a trending and uptrending market. I don't know how much these guys get involved on the short side, but from a growth stock perspective, this is a very interesting way to look at the markets, get you involved in the charts. How to make money in stocks, investors business daily is part of this. Um, what's the other company called? Market Smith is the other company, I believe. They used to have an investing paper that you could go through on, I believe, Saturdays or Sundays. You used to be able to pick stocks like that. They have some online portals as well. Um, not so sure what's going on now. The last time I was on the IBD website, did not really like the way they changed it up. Um, and Market Smith, I haven't been on there in a while, but I used to be a subscriber to the Market Smith charts, although you don't need that. But it does, it does go very, very good hand in hand with trading the cancelling method, but it's expensive. It's like a thousand bucks a year for that charting service. But you don't need any of that. If you just read this book and you have access to the newspaper, um, the Investor's Business Daily newspaper, whether that's on the internet or the physical copy, you'll be able to pick stocks that are near breakouts that meet the Can Slim criteria. So check that out. How to Make Money in Stocks by William O'Neill. Switch it up a bit. Anybody interested in derivatives? So option traders. This is a very easy to understand um, book that gives you a lot of the um, option strategies, their workings, um, perhaps when to use um, those strategies in the market. So this is Options Made Easy by Guy Cohen. So going back, uh, I don't know, quite a few years now, when I was learning options, it was definitely a head spinner. Um, when I picked this book up, I remember reading this book and then all of a sudden a light going off and... I understood exactly what was going on with options. This book, perhaps it wasn't 100% this book. Maybe it was just everything leading up and this book just tipped me over the edge. But this is a great book for anybody who wants to learn options. Whether you know nothing about it and want to learn about it or whether you're just getting started, add this in to your tool chest. Um, there also is a great reference guide in the back of the book that lists out all the different strategies, whether it's iron condors, call credit spreads, put stuff. Um, it's, it's a good book. Check it out if you're interested in derivatives or if you're interested in options. Good reference to keep on your desk as well. Over here to a, another in-depth book by Granville. This is Granville's new strategy of daily stock market timing for maximum profit. This is one of those deep dive books <clears throat> into market volume. This is this book will not be for everybody, but if you have a keen interest in the inner workings of the market and volume, check this book out. It is it goes deep into the markets with uh, volume models, but if that's something you're interested in, check this out. It's not for everybody. But those who know, know. And if this is for you, I would recommend checking it out. 
another one of those books that you've probably never heard of and you probably will not be able to find unless you know what you are looking for. Over here to a pure entertainment book to finish this video off. So this is by Jack D. Schwager, New Market Wizards. This book is a, uh, let's see here. How many, tell me how many pages this book is. I would say it's four to 500 pages. It is a great coffee table book. It is a great Sunday morning entertainment book. This book basically, Jack basically interviews lots and lots of traders in this book and their stories about how they made money, how they got started in the business, their biggest profitable days, and so on. This is a fun read. Perhaps you can take away some of the different strategies. One of the interesting things in this book is you will see how there's different ways to make money in the market. Some guys use options, some guys use futures, some guys trade stocks on leverage, some guys just trade stocks. Some guys are active. Some guys just buy a stock cheap and hold it for a long period of time. This is a cool book to have. You may or may not have heard of this. It's definitely a more popular book. But like I said, throw it on the coffee table, pick it up, read a story about a trader, put it back down, and it's one of those books. Or knock it out in the weekend. The New Market Wizards by Jack D. Schwager conversations with America's top traders. This is a great book, a great gift. Check this one out. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. A little bit different, not too much going on in the markets. Um, basically, once we put that low in on the 12th in the crypto markets, the stock markets, the futures, I believe, undercut that on Friday and then closed up. But for the crypto markets, looks like those lows have held so far. So not too much to discuss there. Um, so I just wanted to throw a different video out here about some a little bit more entertainment um, and some learning stuff you can check out. So links to these will be down in the video description. And let me know your thoughts on these books. If you have read them, if you have not read them, which ones you are looking forward to picking up. And thanks so much again for watching this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.